Hello, this is Dr. Eric Bricker and thank you for watching A Healthcare Z. Today we're going to be discussing regulatory capture in healthcare. Now this might be literally the most boring topic ever, but it is incredibly important. Now I'm going to go over it briefly so that it's kind of like going to the dentist. I'm going to go over it as fast as possible to make it as painless as possible. Okay, so there's a very famous economist by the name of George Stigler who was on faculty at Columbia and then at the University of Chicago. He even won a Nobel Prize in economics in 1982. And he actually created the entire, discovered the entire concept of regulatory capture. What is regulatory capture? He wrote, regulation is acquired by the industry and is designed and operated for its benefits. I'm going to say that again. Regulation is acquired by the industry and is designed and operated for its, in other words, the industry's benefits. So in other words, it's not for the government's benefit. It's not for the people's benefit. It's for the industry itself that's being regulated, which is counterintuitive, right? We always used to think before 1971, when this was written, that the uh, that government regulation or rules would kind of, you know, put the industry in its place, when in fact, Stickler said, no, that's actually not the case. That producers, in other words, the industry itself, actually uses regulation to prevent competition. And this occurs everywhere, not just in healthcare. Specifically, his research was on how government regulation in electricity didn't lower the price of electricity. It happens in the automotive industry as well. It happens all over the place. Now, instead of talking about esoterics, let's specifically talk about healthcare. And to look at healthcare regulation, we need look no further than the Affordable Care Act. And let's see how regulatory capture specifically occurred in the Affordable Care Act. Okay, specifically for hospitals, which was obviously one of the industries that was regulated in the Affordable Care Act. They got increased coverage for their patients. In other words, so there were fewer self-pay patients, so there were fewer uninsured, and as a result, they could have increased revenue. So as a result of the ACA, this is what the hospitals wanted to get. Now, the insurance carriers were obviously also heavily regulated by the Affordable Care Act. They got that coverage was required, right? You would take, pay a fine if you did not get health insurance. It was not optional. Okay, but not only did you have to get insurance, but the government would heavily subsidize it. So money from the government would then be paid to those insurance carriers. What happened as a result of that? They had increased revenue. Okay, next up, pharmaceutical companies. What did they get? They got no lifetime max on a health insurance plan, which means that, oh, by the way, so if a drug costs a million dollars a year or two million dollars a year or even more, the insurance company has to pay endlessly. There's no top. And look what we've seen in terms of the development of these orphan drugs that cost a million dollars, right? Why stop at a million? Why not make it 10 million? If there's no lifetime max, like, why not keep going? Okay, now let's talk about patients. Let's talk about people and their families and their loved ones and their friends. Okay, everybody wants transparency. Hey, I'd like to know what something costs in advance before I go to the doctor, the hospital, or prescription medication. I just want to know what it costs, right? And guess what did not make the Affordable Care Act? Transparency. It is not in the Affordable Care Act. I actually talked to my local congressman. He said that there was some effort in Congress to actually try to get it in. It didn't happen. Okay, so what's my point for today? is that, now I'm treading on real thin ice here. Listen, you can have your own opinion and you can totally disagree with me and that's totally okay. But I'm just saying that as we talk about government intervention in healthcare, we need to be very careful about the concept of regulatory capture such that the industry itself that we are trying to change will likely be instrumental in regulating the regulator itself, so to speak. And that's my message for today. Thank you for watching A Healthcare Z.